All right, this is kind of a a video that is bringing me to the uh, the the reason that I probably went back to actual physical consoles um, in the last fifteen years or so instead of just enjoying emulation because I had got rid of most of my stuff just thinking emulation was the best thing in the world and why would I need all these consoles? And I still think to a certain degree it is. I, I do like having the physical stuff now, again, probably just nostalgia. But beyond that, if I complete a game in its real original aspect with physical hardware and stuff like that, physical controllers from the, the, uh, the period, I feel better for some reason. But I also think that I got away from enjoying console gaming um, through emulation was because of the, the screens. I used to love it back in the 90s because I think as it was evolving, once they get to the point where you could emulate Genesis, NES, uh, Super Nintendo, all that stuff, I think... I think what was happening is I didn't enjoy looking at it on a LED or LCD screen. Any, you know, OLED probably is pretty nice. I don't have one of those, but there was definitely something special about emulation when you had a nice CRT. And now that I've uh, recently snagged this M70 Hewlett Packard 17 inch monitor, from uh, around the uh, late 90s. I think these sold for, for probably four or five years at the end of the 90s into the early 2000s. This is a nice monitor. It's, it's a little soft because it has a glare filter built in, which is actually very nice um, when you have larger graphics or, or chunkier pixels, stuff like that. But uh, I want to take a look at, let me go into our consoles here. All right, where do I want to go? My computer. I think I got them in a C drive here somewhere. All right, consoles. So I started putting some on here the other day and, and pretty much like this, like the, like the, the, um, geez, do I need, let's just try DirectX 8. I don't need OpenGL necessarily. I'm curious to see what this will look like because I've been using with OpenGL, which is also something that kind of makes things look a little softer. Um, let's see, that looks pretty clean. I'm trying to capture it good, uh, but let's let's uh, let's boot this CD. Hopefully, the volume's nice. Now, naturally, this thing doesn't have scan lines because it's a high quality monitor. But when you add scan lines to a high quality monitor, sorry, I'm probably talking right into the thing because I'm looking close at this. It looks amazing. things just look absolutely beautiful on a CRT back in the 90s.
I hope everyone knows by now that you ignore the lines scrolling through there because it's just a CRT capture off of a phone. I don't see that line. So that's, I, I do have Ease 4 on CD. I just, this is the, uh, this is the, uh, the, the English version that was uh, patched. My brother gave me this copy long ago, but I do own the Japanese version, but I'm playing this just so you could hear everything in English. They did an amazing job. And I still haven't played through this yet, and it's way beyond time to play this game. So let's load a ROM. I'm going to play a game that everyone hates, but I like. Just so you can see how beautiful this looks. I hope that's really sharp, you know? It's hard to tell. Turn that up just a little. Uh, we'll play difficult mode, so I, I can fall in the holes. So they put a story behind this, but this is an arcade game that I learned about only in the last few years. I didn't know it was an arcade game in Japan which is 10 times harder than this. So this one's fun. And this is a great puzzle game that has been overlooked for decades. And you can get this, um, it's Kid Something, I can't remember, that guy something, Kid Guy Something. Oh, and it's on uh, the Switch in the arcade section, but it's super hard which is very satisfying to play a super hard game. <laughs> but on here. So what you do is you run around the maze, you pick up these treasure chests. There's so many, uh, 20 or so, I don't know. You get those little power-ups sometimes. It lets them move slower. Sometimes you can shoot bubble guns and stuff at them or ice rays and it freezes the, the characters. And you can also pick up things like, uh, oops, I gotta go to the outside. You can pick up um, more shovels which lets you dig more holes. And once you get the last treasure box here, a key appears, you get the key and you head for the door, which I believe is down here. All right, this may go a little longer than expected because I, I have trouble not playing this game more than I should. I hope it's coming through as to how clear this is. Now, once I upload this to YouTube and they compress it even further, that's where the trouble starts. You're safe on this thing, by the way. You can't get hurt, so. What is that, extra man? Or something ended? Ah. Yes, very reminiscent of a, a Bomberman kind of look at times. And this, this is this is a wow! It's a Hudson game. I don't know if it was originally a Hudson game. And you can fall in that water, so you gotta be careful. And there's the key. One more, one more round, because I just want to show that you can get the uh, the shovels, and then I'm going to move on to another game, and we'll see uh, maybe two more to see how gorgeous they look. And this is I got to find a setup for this now. Now that I got this system with XP and Voodoo running, and now a 17-inch good-looking 17-inch monitor on it. Oh, I need more desk space. I already set up the uh, 46 next to my desk. Now this introduces the ability to open and close doors. See how good this does me, I gotta go around. See, there's a shovel there, so 
I'll show you what the shovel does and then we can be done with this and move on. So I've got my first shovel. And you can kill more monsters with this. And then you get shovels and portals and doors. And now I can't get out this way. I've got to go in and out again. Sometimes you can open the doors from the other side. Sometimes you can't. I'll have to look and see if I could have just done that. Yeah, see, the button won't work there, so... And when you start to the point where you've got a lot of holes to dig, you can dig them real fast, and when you dig so many, it gives you little bonus things, like uh, bonus chips and stuff that show up. So you always stand still when you go through those, because those guys can get you. So yeah, I was able to get two in that shot. Have I got everything? I got two left. They must be way back on the other side here, and I, I forgot them. There's the door. You can't put a hole over the door. But it gives you a better reach so you can kill guys easier. Ooh. That, I almost screwed up. So see, that turns everybody to ice, and then you can just push them and destroy them. Whoops. And they will respawn. That's a great place for the key to show up. Now I gotta walk all the way back across here. I don't have my turbo on, so it would take quite a bit to get the chip to show up. It's usually like a little NEC chip or something. All right, enough of that. That's how that's how great that game is. Whether it looks great or not, you just gotta play it and start understanding it. So let's uh, let's load another another game here. How about... How about Devil's Crush? A game that really shows off how, uh, how great this looks. And I don't have to play it too long. I'm gonna turn this up. Music's so good. right down right away. Get the heck out of here. I mean, I remember when I got Aliens Crush, and then, like, how great that was, and then Devil's Crush came out. It's like, oh my god, this is beautiful. Maybe maybe the best digital <laughs> I'm talking too much dig digital pinball uh, game ever where it's just the right type of uh, you know it's still a console because there's other pinball machines now that aren't real anymore that are just pure you know created but look like real pinball machines now but back then this was so good. Can I get that in that mouth? I can't remember. It's probably a, it's probably a... No. The mouth is probably a bonus round. I better show you the top level too. And the music is so good. Whoa! That looked bad. Does that stay lit? Doesn't. Alright, so that's that's another game. You can see how, how gorgeous it looks. 
um, let's go way down to another amazing game from back in the day. All right. Not thinking of the right name. Oh, I got spirit in my head. Ninja spirit. It's right there. I'm looking in the S's. I guess not Samurai Spirit. Another game based off of an arcade. That's just amazing. And this was very convenient instead of having to hook up my Turbo Graphics back in the day which still looked really good. I had, and this was just through an RF connector back then. I had a, a Zenith TV that was just amazing. 25 inch. I don't know how it looked so good. It looked better than most things running through component. Yeah, not even composite, component. I don't know how it looked so good. It has such Low interference, clean signal. Get my bearings here. I mean, this game is just, oh my god. There's, there's definitely duds on the turbo. But, when they were, when they were nailing stuff, it didn't get any better. Ooh. Ghost guys here. Now, usually I'm playing on a real controller. I think this has a turbo button that I can engage on it. Because uh, you could just hit the turbo and you're getting like this wicked strobe on the swings. And you wanted, I think, the second turbo because the first one, it wouldn't give you a full arc. See, what you want to do is like when stuff's shooting at you, you do that because it'll deflect all the bad things. Ooh, I thought I was going to kill myself there. Come on, guys. There should be another one coming up here. There he is. There we go. We got all three now. Now it's just power ups. It's been a long time since I just beat this without using the turbo buttons. Here we go. Let's see if I can do this. So the key is you get right in the center here. You just survive this by protecting yourself. There we go. Now you get into position to protect yourself and destroy at the same time. I had to change my grip so I could do rapid fire here. I'm wearing myself out when it's not even shooting yet. And it was so much easier to get fully powered up. This is back when I could get excited for video games. <laughs> All right. So, there we go. Um, anything else you want to see? You can watch the intro to Newtopia, which was just... <laughs> There's a couple games that, that were good with great intros that just got you charged up when you hear the music, and some that weren't. Like, this, this got me charged up to play. Zelda clone when there was no Link to the Past yet and they had made Zelda 2 which I do not like if you've seen my video on it I tolerated it but this filled the gap where there was no other Zelda games so 
I much appreciated this game coming out. So uh, Newtopia 1 and 2. So then another game that I loved. It was the first game you got, obviously, for most people. And I'm going to go back up a bit. This intro really, really felt great when you turned on the system. And then you played the game. And it's just average. But it was fun to go through. But it's a little basic. But that music, man. I could listen to that startup all day long. Alright, so that's... <laughs> that's how good these things look on here. Is there anything else that can showcase how good it looks? You know, I'm just I'm trying to play things I own here. Sometimes I bought the Japanese edition. And then I play the American one anyway. So. Oh, we should we should look at Bonk, right? I mean, we could look at Airzonk, but just to see Bonk's adventure, the, 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 the system seller. And mascot. Another one where if, if you had the turbo button on, you could just float across the sky. But that's, that's it. There's Bong too. Nothing left to see. I mean, there's a ton more other games, but I think you get the idea of how fun it was to, after having the turbo graphics in the early 90s, by the late 90s, to be able to just play everything on emulator, not have to pull everything out again, was great. And then some, somewhere in the 2000s, I sold it, and then had to buy it all back. And then I bought a mini. So. But, you know, you can still, anyone that wants to can still enjoy these games. And I'd highly suggest, even if you have a, a, a regular monitor and you get a CRT, Hook it in as a second monitor. That way you can play these games the way they were intended to look. All right, well, that's enough. Well, we'll, we'll see you next time, guys. So long. <laughs>